this indefinite integral or find an antiderivative for this function. Uh, here is that function, which is this green, light green dashed curve. And here's the antiderivative. And when I take the derivative of that big F, I get the same graph as this function. So this looks like the answer right here with a plus C. Question is, how do you get from here to here? Well, looks to me like trigonometric substitution. So I visualize this with a little right triangle. X squared plus 9 means the X and 3 are legs of the right triangle. When you use trig substitution, I like to remember the mnemonic SST. It's either you're looking for sine, secant, or tangent. Uh, where we want x over 3 to have the x in the numerator. So I'll put that leg here, 3 here. The hypotenuse is the square root of x squared plus 9. And then I can do all this substitution. The tangent of theta opposite over adjacent. So x equals 3 tangent theta. x squared, 9 tangent squared theta. dx, 3 secant squared theta d theta. And the square root of x squared plus 9, <laughs> using the substitution that 1 plus tangent squared is secant squared, is 3 secant theta. So we'll substitute all this into the original. There's the dx right here. Here is x squared. And here is, this is supposed to be a 3, uh, secant theta. I left off the absolute value. Uh, the threes cancel. One of the secants cancels. Probably easiest to convert to sines and cosines. Secant 1 over cosine. Tangent sine squared over cosine squared. Simplifying that to cosine over sine squared. Use u substitution. u equals the sine of theta. So du equals the cosine of theta d theta. There is the antiderivative right here, negative 1 ninth u to the minus 1, or negative 1 over 9u. Now we're ready to go backwards. u is the sine of theta. So there's u replaced with sine of theta. But the sine of theta, going back to our original right triangle, sine of theta is x over the square root of x squared plus 9. <coughs> So I'll just multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. There's your antiderivative. And you can take the derivative of this using the quotient rule to convince yourself that you end up back here. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.